Kealakai means in Hawaiian, the leader. Interestingly enough, now, you know, the school motto is learn, lead, and build, and it kind of all goes together with leader, the leader. Kealakai kind of goes along with that as well. Here, here are the goals that I have for the Kealakai. It's several goals. One is to help, you know, um, teach students and train students. Another one is it acts as a historical you know, magazine for the university. It, it chronicles all the things that happen. So it's kind of the history of the, the school. And then it's also an opportunity for students to be creative and innovative. So the Kelakai is sort of a magazine newspaper hybrid. The advantage to having this sort of magazine look is that you can have really nice visual displays and then a, a story that goes along with it. And so a lot of times I feel like the picture tells the story almost as much as the writing. The process of making the Kilikai starts when we generate ideas. So typically um, we sit down as a team on Tuesday night, we decide what we think is newsworthy. From there they, you know, they write the stories usually within a week's time frame unless it's an event. And um, there's kind of like a midweek checkup on th Thursdays to just see how they're doing with the story, if they need any help, if they've completed the assignments they need complete by that time. And then uh, we, from there it goes to the editors, they edit, photos are edited, everything is turned into the computer. And um, we come in Monday and Tuesday of the following week and we put together the stories and the photos. Here at the Kalakai is I help my writers improve their writing so they can write concisely and in a quality manner and I look at their writing and I help them improve. And I remember one time um, Marissa, our editor-in-chief, she um, printed out a list of ten things that are big problems that usually happen um, when editing and it was really interesting and it um, got me thinking about my grammar and when to use that and when to use which and all this different stuff, things you never think of. I think my favorite type of story is features. I love getting to interview people and to hear um, interesting stories about where they came from and why they're here at school, what they're studying, and what makes them who they are. The most interesting story that I have written was about video games, because I don't play video games, but I had to go interview people who do, and it was super interesting to hear how playing video games helps some people study and other people it causes them to be more rude and aggressive. <laughs> the best part about this job is that I get to be creative and kind of put things together and make them look fun and exciting and make people want to read them. You know, I spend most of my week kind of doing research, looking up different layouts, kind of getting inspiration from that and kind of taking it from there once I get my story assignments. We have a weekly news show that comes out every Friday. There's a lot of steps that it takes to make the weekly news show actually happen. So the events that happen from Friday to Friday throughout the week, we have those recorded. And then with our videos that we have made of other events, we make little 30 second snippets and we prepare those for our weekly news channel. And we use a green screen in the weekly news. We just set up all of our lights and everything and we have a script that we write out usually that day that has what we're gonna say on it. Then we take all that and we have to put it together into a weekly news show. I work in Kalakai as a photographer. Now what we basically what we doing is taking picture of even or what's going on in our life on, on campus. Being journal photographer, we take picture what's like exactly happened right now in our life or campus life. One of my favorite is going to PCC for free and I watch um, new IMAX theaters movie and take picture of it. It's really fun because we, it, we can actually experience it and then take picture of it and then tell people. Kalakai can be compared to making a dish or cooking a dish. You have all these different ingredients and you can put those together in different ways and get different outcomes. And so we take all the different skills and abilities students have and combine it with the skills that we teach people and we get all different variety of outcomes.